Hi, I'm Thomas J. Nelson, Realtor, and I'm here in beautiful San Diego with my networking partner, Carol Vaughn. She's a life and leadership coach, and she's one of the people I network with here in San Diego. Once I'm done putting my clients into the home of their dreams, sometimes they come back to me for referrals for lifestyle choices and changes. Anything from getting their house painted to maybe something they're doing with their career or their finances. Carol's somebody that I put them in touch with when they're making career or lifestyle changes where they might need some guidance, some accountability, and some goal setting. So if you're looking for a great coach, I know one. It's Carol Vaughn. Say hi, Carol. Hi. <laughs> She's a great coach and I highly recommend her. I'm Carol Fawn. My business is What's Next Coaching. I'm a life leadership and strengths finder coach. I help people find clarity and focus in their lives when they're ready to take the next step to improve their lives. My ideal client is a person who is educated, uh, is looking to improve their life, but something is stopping them and they need help in finding what their next steps are going to be and creating that future that they really want. Often there are people who are going through some sort of transition uh, and I would say that most of the people I serve are over 30. However, I do work with some millennials who are underemployed. The most rewarding thing I think about being a coach is seeing people achieve what they really want and they haven't been able to achieve before and living the kind of life the way they want to, to live it and seeing them accomplish getting that doctoral thesis finished or seeing them be able to step out and create a business or a better relationship or develop a, a plan for their retirement. I think the number one problem that I help people solve is their fear. And fear seems to permeate what most of us do or don't do. If we're procrastinating, it's usually because we're fearful, whether we're afraid we can't do it, or we're afraid we won't get it done, or we're afraid people will think we're doing something silly. So the biggest challenge with probably the majority of my clients boils down to, to dealing with that fear and how they overcome it and supporting them to do what they want to do in face of the fear. What motivates me is seeing people achieve what they want to achieve. And when they have a breakthrough, it's like, yes, I love that, I love that. Seeing them see what they need to do to get to where they want to be and then get there. That's what keeps me motivated. I love it.